this is gonna be probably the most difficult model I've ever shot in the days of my shooting. <laughs> this little kid. <laughs> Baby shark do 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 daddy shark do 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 Going to be shooting Kodak Portra 400. Going to be rating it at 200 out here. 35 millimeter film. This is the Canon EOS 1N. This camera is my workhorse. I use this, I also have the 1V. Typically I have black and white in this one and I have color in the 1V. Just, I keep a little tab on one just so I know what's what and where's where. Um, but I love this camera. What's amazing about it is you can put on, if you shoot digitally and you have other Canon lenses that fit on your typical di digital SLRs with Canon, you can fit them on here. It's the same mount. So you have probably, I mean, if you shoot Canon, you have the whole gamut of lenses, you can put all of them on this camera, which is absolutely amazing. So it's Halloween next weekend, so I thought we'd uh, get in costume. Video won't be done probably till after Halloween, but you know, from years of Dressing up in costumes, this is this is the fourth kid of four. And so we have lots of costumes. And so I just thought, you know, we'd dress up in theme and get out here and play around so we can show you how to shoot. Just be, what I'm trying to show you on this is what you can do with different focal lengths and how they affect portraits. So that's what we're gonna do. Let's go shoot some pictures. Baby shark, what do you think? Yes. All right, let's do it. All right, where are you going? Kellen. Kellen, where are you? Hey you, where are you going? Hey you, hey you, Kellen, where are you going? Can you look this way? Come towards me. <laughs> Kellen, come here please. Here's a 50 millimeter at a distance. <laughs> right here. Oh, you did it. Hey, look at me, not the stick. Kellen. <laughs> what? Starting out with the Canon 50 millimeter, it's a 1.2 lens. This is probably the go-to lens that I have always on this camera. I, I typically, I don't like shooting wide unless it's for a certain like scene or I'm trying to show the background, or I'm trying to show this, the whole scene, but I'm typically shooting this or the 85 or the 70 to 200, um, but we're going to put on the 35 because a lot of people like to shoot portraits wide and also gonna show you um, just how that looks. So. We're gonna go, I'm winded from chasing the little shark. Um, I'm gonna put on the 35 and we'll just see how those portraits look. Right. So 35, what is nice about it is like, I can literally be in here and be touching him. And like, this is, <laughs> yeah, I can like tickle him. I can, <laughs> yay, and get that in there. You, you, <laughs> and be that close while shooting the portraits or like I'm getting the full body basically right here. Hey you. Hey. Little shark, look at me. Look at me in the camera. Look at my eyeballs. Where's my eyeballs? And then now I'm gonna shoot like cropped in pretty tight. Hey you, stop there, stop, stop, stop. Hey you, are you hitting me with the, what are you doing? <laughs> what is that, what are you doing? So an 85, when you're shooting more like an 85 or you go up in focal length, 8500, you can go up to the 70 to 200. Though an 85 is considered more of a portrait lens. And so what it does is it compresses the background and it, it's a much tighter frame where when you're shooting 35, it's a little bit wider. You wanna be done? Okay, stay there real quick. Hold on, hold on, stay there. So now I'm gonna come really tight right here. Like this is how I would normally shoot a portrait. There's the film. All your pictures are right on there. Is that incredible? Can you say incredible? Yep. I want to do that again. Me too. All right, let's do it again. So one thing that's really nice about shooting with the EOS 1N or the 1V is you're able to use lenses. That, like, let's say you shoot digitally, you've got a 5D mark, whatever. You can take the same lenses that you use, nice, beautiful Canon L-series lenses, and they go right on these bodies. So if it's a really easy con conversion from digital to film, and then you have these bodies that just like, I consider this camera my workhorse. I have this, this is the 1N, I have the 1V, they're both incredible. 
You can get them both in the shop. I have multiple of these just because I've bought so many of them for the store because I just absolutely love this camera and hopefully you could too. Here, we're just gonna take one quick picture. No, 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 no. Come on, quick, one picture. Oh, jeez. Come on, buddy, come here, please. One advantage right here is I was gonna go to shoot him and I, but because I am slightly taller than he is, um, I'm gonna use the 35 to get us both in the portrait. Because if I was on the 50, it would be cutting my, it would probably be cutting me off right about here. So now I'm hitting a moving target, um, shooting the 85, which is more of the portrait lens, and then we're sort of gonna whittle our, whittle our way back down, but I'm gonna try to catch this guy and get some photos. Hey, you. One thing that is... <laughs> hey, Spider-Man! <laughs> Fast little critter. That was a good Spider-Man pose. Hey, you. So I'm going from the 85 now to the 35, which is a pretty big difference, but I think, hey you, Spidey. What are you doing? I see that, but see how close I can get and get full body in here? Hey you, can you look at the camera? See how close I am here? And we'll see what that does for a portrait. Hey you, you looking there? So now I'm gonna put on the 70 to 200, which is, oops, which is an incredible lens. When I was first shooting, I used to shoot a lot of concerts and I basically had this lens and then I had a 74 to, Dad? 24 to 70. Dad. Yeah, bud. I'm sticking in your hair. There's a stick in my hair? Yeah. How did it get there? Thanks, buddy. Thank you. So I can be back a little bit further. This would be more of like your sniper lens. That's a good move. Where you saw how close I was with the, with the 35. It's, it's those moments between the moments when shooting kids that are like my absolute favorites. And what is sort of nice about this is like when you are when you are using a lens like this one, it it almost allows people to be a little bit more can like they don't feel like you're right in their face and they can especially with kids, they can go to like just being kids and then you can just document them how they're doing it. Like what I love to do if I am shooting kids, because I've had a little bit of practice, is just to like let them be and follow them around. This one's just hard to follow around. So this last little lens that we're gonna play with is the 17 to 40, just to really show you what a really wide lens is. So I'm gonna shoot it mostly at the 17 range because we were shooting the 50 before and the 35. I mean, you'll see how wide that is. Like I'm, I'm getting full body. Look at me, stop. Still look at me. Perfect. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. That button? Yeah, that button. Good work. There is that is loaded with film. Not on autofocus. Um, 
So that was an exercise really to just go through the different focal lengths and show you what different focal lengths can do to your pictures, to your portraits, and really, again, like what we are always trying to do on this channel is to do different experiments or play with different things so that you can watch this and be like, oh, maybe I wanna try that, or oh, I like what this does, or oh, I like this film stock, or oh, I like this camera, I wanna try it out. But it's also so you don't have to go and take a bunch of experiments, we're doing that for you. But this is hopefully giving you this visual representation of what happens when you- <laughs> So one of my favorite instructors when I was taking photo classes would tell me, or he would instruct the class, like if you're taking photos, this was for a commercial photography class, it's like when you're shooting the subject, get in there and put on a bunch of different lenses. Don't just stick with the same camera, the same lens the whole time. Like get in there because you, as you saw, as I'm interacting with him with a really wide angle lens, it, there's something different that happens when you're up, when you can like literally touch your subject and you're in your in their face and you can be like really talking with them and really interacting with them. It, it comes across in the camera versus when you have more of a telephoto lens, you're a lot further back, you're letting them be. I mean, if you're up closer, it just, it just does something different. So each of these lenses, it, it really has a different feeling to it. And hopefully you're able to see that in those frames. And I, I mean, just even shooting with them all in the same different subject, trying to chase this little grommet around. Um, a lot of fun, but yeah, we've got cameras like this in the shop. Always happy to just give feedback. If you have questions about certain cameras, if you want to try something out, happy to give you feedback, anything like that. But thanks for being a part of this community and we will see you on the next one. You did awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Bye. See ya. Bye. 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 <laughs> Watch out for the birdies. Watch out for the birdies.